Warning. Mike Roy is awesome. All peoples in this movie are just students and are not professional anythings. Except for Alex. He is a professional boot. All stunts were performed by us, the students, and shouldn't be attempted unless you are a professional. None of these stunts are safe at all and shouldn't be attempted. Watch all the way through for the blooper reel. Viewer discretion is advised. I think that's... Hi guys, I'm Mike Roy, and this is CIT Safety. Hello, I am the narrator and I'm here to talk to you about safety. Notice this young worker, a perfect employee, but he does not have safety knowledge. Notice how he doesn't know how to bring the box down the stairs properly. Jesus, thank God these stairs broke my fall. Looks like he had a very poor boxing record. He failed to take any safety precautions when trying to move the boxes down the stairs. Now watch as Mike Roy moves the boxes the right way. Notice how Mike Roy takes the boxes down in two trips rather than all at once. Look, here comes the Russian. Notice how the Russian is congratulating Mike Roy on his safety. See, now we are going to discuss electrical hazards. You have to make sure your workspace is cleared of fried and or broken cables so you won't get electrocuted as Mike Roy will demonstrate. Looks like he just got grounded. If you had checked to see if the cable was broken, this tragedy could have been avoided. Now watch as Bill Nye shows us how to check to see if the cable is broken. Yay! <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill Nye, the science guy. See how Bill Nye told Mike the right way to check a cable properly? It's a shame his show was cancelled. Good thing he is immortal though. Yay! Oh hello, I am Smalley Smalls. And while the narrator is not here at the moment, I will tell you all about the next topic we're talking about. Workplace violence. Now, we're going to show you what the angry customer or a person will be like if they approach you by this next clip. What is up with this service? It's terrible. It's a hate product. Everything. Stupid. And you're stupid. Everything is stupid. <laughs> uh, what you just saw was workplace violence clip one, where it shows what an angry customer would be like. Now, let us show you how to properly handle it. 
Sir, if you have a problem with the government, please sign this complaint later and we will get back to you as soon as we can. All right. In case an angry customer does approach you, here is the video of what you should do, which, which should be mainly involving security coming and removing them from your site. What's wrong with your people? Security. <laughs> Sir, I have to ask you to leave. Sometimes you encounter an angry client outside of the workplace. Here's an example. Here are some pictures of monkeys to help you pass time. What you just saw was a bunch of pictures of monkeys, but here's an example on how not to handle workplace violence. Yeah, I, Excuse me, sir, is there a problem? Yeah, I just bought some uh, some hardware from your store and it sucks. It f sucks. Really? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Well, you know what I have to say to that? Get down! Oh, oh, Get down! Oh, dude, dude, chill. Chill. Yeah, chill. that's right. Chill. Yeah, chill. Is there a problem? No. If there's a problem, you can give me all your money. Give me your wallet. Throw it in. Good. Jesus. This is not how to correctly handle this situation, but here's the correct way of how to do it. Yes, is there a problem? Yeah, I just bought a uh, product from you and it sucks. I want my money back. Well, take it to customer services and they'll deal with it. Will they? Yes, they will. All right. Quickly and efficiently. Well, that's good. All right. Have a nice day. Thank you. You're welcome. That was the correct way to handle the situation. You blocked me on Facebook, and now you're going to die. However, once the filming was done, Bill and I had to return to his home planet. In doing so, what we had to do was disembody his head, stick it on a piece of paper, and then light it on fire, because that's the only way you can send a Bill and I back to his home planet of science guy, Topia. He'll be a much happier man there, waiting for his show to come back, and he'll sit there on the couch with the other Bill Nyes, and just make sure that it gets done, making sure every day that the word of science is spread to everyone across the world, and the fire's bigger. Anyway, Bill Nye is now back on his home planet, and in the end, 
that's all we really wanted. Good night. I'm gonna go sleep. I believe I can fly Like he is a very poor <laughs> Hi mom, hi dad <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna do one of those POW videos Like I was beat out by the Iraqis or something I've been captured I guess I've been I've been captured. I'm f I smoke pot now look at me. Yeah, I'm off frame. You're, you're way off. Just Bing. just redo it. <clears throat> what the f is clear my throat? I guess. I, I wear these sunglasses because I'm a victim of domestic abuse. I don't like to talk about it, but I think it's my fault. You can <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he is a very poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.